Flowers, Lieutenant of Public Affairs for the Indian River County Sheriff's Office. Uh, overnight, we did sustain uh, some, some pretty significant winds. Uh, we have reports of gusts up over 75 miles an hour. At the moment, we're receiving reports that we are at 40 miles an hour sustained winds and over 60 mile an hour gusts. Last night when we left you around midnight, shortly thereafter, we pulled all of our personnel, our fire and EMS, uh, law enforcement from the streets. It just became too dangerous for them to stay out on the streets. And uh, they were in for the duration of the night. They are right now in meetings uh, talking about damage, damage assessment. And over the course of the next couple hours, they're going to be preparing uh, notes for us to pass along to you at our next press conference. Uh, our watch commanders are meeting with our fire rescue uh, folks to work out a game plan to be able to cover the majority of the county in a very short time. Of course, we're going to be checking those main arteries. We're going to be checking for down power lines. So we're here to ask you today, please stay in place. We know everyone is anxious. We know everyone is excited to get out and see the damage from the storm, media included. Please stay in place until we can give you some sort of assessment. We're very fortunate that the storm did not have a direct impact although we did receive very, very high winds and gusts in our county. We do know that we have a lot of power lines down. We have had reports uh, from FPNL, 29,800 people in our county from FPNL are without power, and approximately 20,000 people are without power in the city of Vero Beach in the Vero Beach electric area. That's 75% of their customer base is without power. Overnight, we had uh, one report of a tree falling on a house, 1220 35th Avenue. The room was uh, exposed, uh, but there's no injuries and no fire, so nobody was hurt. Overnight, we also had in the city of Vero jurisdiction uh, a report of one tree landing on a house, but no reports of anything exposed or any injuries. Overnight, we did not have any medical emergencies, no babies being born, no heart attacks, no, no major medical emergencies, nothing uh, that would have impacted services. So we are very blessed, very fortunate to be reporting that to you today. We do know that we have one fire station without power. We also know that four of our shelters are without power right now, although they all have backup generators. Sebastian River Middle, Oslo Middle, the Freshman Learning Center, and Liberty Magnet are all without power. As our first responders get out on scene, the first place uh, that they're going is to the bridges, to man the bridges. We will have a bridge assessment done before anyone crosses those bridges, even from law enforcement, to be sure that no damage, no structural damage was done and that it is safe to cross those bridges. In the meantime, we will be assessing damages uh, I expect that at our next press conference we'll be able to give you a better idea of what it, the picture is outside. Uh, as I did last night, I will be requesting from law enforcement that they send in pictures and fire, uh, and we will get that out on our social media as soon as we can as the sun comes up, as we're able to get better photos for you. Uh, we appreciate everyone's patience, the fact that everyone was here throughout the night with us. Uh, we, we know that this could have been much worse. Uh, but we also know that there's a lot of danger out there right now. It's still a lot of unknowns. And until we get out there and get that full picture, we ask that people please stay where they're at, uh, at least for the next couple hours. Give us a little bit of time to make an assessment here. Anything else, guys? So good. Buenos días. Uh, mi nombre es María Resto y este es un mensaje del Departamento de Servicio de Emergencias. En este momento le queremos pedir a los residentes que permanezcan dentro de sus residencias. Lo peor de la tormenta ya ha pasado. Durante la noche tuvimos vientos de 65 millas por hora. Por el momento podemos tener vientos de alrededor de 40 millas por hora. Ah, durante la noche también tuvimos reportajes de dos edificaciones con daños severos. Ah, afortunadamente no tuvimos ningún tipo de daño o emergencia médica. Eh, durante el momento vamos a estar evaluando las carreteras para saber que no tengamos más daños. Vamos a asegurarnos que todas las carreteras estén seguras antes de que abran los puentes y las carreteras. Eh, por el momento tenemos 29.000 eh, residentes sin servicio eléctrico. Vamos a estar evaluando toda la situación para saber que todo el mundo está seguro. Para cualquier pregunta pueden llamar al 772-226-4000. Gracias.
questions? Can you give us? Sorry, yeah, I wanted to um, the the fire station that's without uh, power. Which fire station is it? Winter Beach. Winter Beach Fire Station. Can you go over the address again of the um, house that had the tree on top of it that was exposed? It's the 1200 block of 35th Avenue. 1200. Yes. Okay. And the house that the tree that landed on the house in Vera Beach, where is that located? 1200 block of 28th Street. Please recognize that we have folks going out there right now, so we ask that you uh, not send crews out there until we get an assessment. Uh, we do know that everyone is safe, everyone's okay. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we've got everything covered before you guys get out there, okay? So there, there may be things in the way between here and there that are causing issues. Um, so to be clear, no injuries related to the storm that we know of? No storm-related injuries. We have had no reports of storm-related injuries. How did the water and sewer system fail? Um, no, we've, we've had no reports. No. Uh, water and sewer is up and functioning yeah. properly, and we also have crews standing by in case something does uh, present itself this morning. They're ready to make immediate repairs. Can you go over the power outage numbers again? Somewhere? Sure. 29,850 FPL customers are without power right now, and 20,000 Vero Beach Electric customers are with power. That's approximately 75% of their customer base in our community. Is there a curfew in place or alcohol ban? Yet? At this time, there is not a curfew or alcohol ban, although Sheriff Lohr and uh, Jason Brown will meet today at some point and make that decision. Uh, you will know before dark if something like that is going to go into effect. This might be a dumb question, but that 29,000 number of FPL customers is for Indian River County, correct? Indian River County, okay, that's correct. And then the 20,000 Vero Electric is in Vero. That's correct. Okay. Are there any warnings or watches that are still in effect now for uh, I, I've not heard of any anything flood, flood warnings? I'm anything? not even sure yet. Yeah. I, we, we do not have that information at this time. Uh, if there is something still in effect, we'll get back to you. We'll let you know. We do know that the storm is off the coast of Melbourne right now, um, and it is, pa it is passing by. We are still receiving high winds. Like I said, the gusts are still up over 60 miles an hour, uh, but we're still in a position where uh, it is passing us, so we're, we're in a good spot. Have you received any reports of um, any areas that are the hardest hit? I remember in 2004 there was problems with the Cone Beach Boardwalk in Hummison. Uh, at this time, we're still assessing the damage. It's too early for me to be able to give you that information. Do you have any reports of any down power lines, live ones? There are many, many reports of down power lines in Indian River County. That's why we are encouraging everyone to please stay home. We still need to triage this situation. This is very early on. So please stay where you're at. Give us time to assess this situation before you head out. You could step into standing water that is electrically charged. You could step on one of these power lines. Please, even the media, please do not head out yet. It is not time to go out yet. I know you said that one of the things we'll do is start assessing the bridges first and foremost. Um, do you have sort of a time frame for residents? So if, if residents have evacuated to know, like, you know, it's, it won't be before this time until you can, you know, I can think about... The bridges are one of the first, I mean, that's one of the first stops, assuming that our, our folks can make it there and safely be there. It's going to be a while before anybody makes it over. We're going to hold the bridges, we're going to assess the bridges, then we'll go over, see what the situation is like on the beach before anyone is going to be able to go there. Um, I wouldn't even want to take a guess as to when it would be. Um, folks need to stay in place, stay where they're at. There will be plenty of time for sightseeing later. There will be plenty of time for folks to get out and get pictures of the damage later. Uh, please, take your time. Rest up this morning. There's, still, there's going to be plenty of work to do. You're going to have yard work. You're going to have lots of cleanup. Fortunately, it sounds like there's you know, not a lot of catastrophic damage. It sounds like it's very, uh, you know, related to power lines down, related to trees down, palms going down. So there's a lot of work to be done. Rest up this morning. You, you'll need that energy later. Um, and one more clarification. When you said the 20,000 Vero Electric, you said that 75% of their customers here in Vero Beach? That's correct. 75% of the Vero Electric customers are without power this morning. Okay. You I will, need to add something? Sure, please. I just want to remind the Indian River County uh, residents that our citizen information line is active this morning as it has been throughout the night. That phone number is 226-4000. If you have any questions at all, if you have any concerns, 
please feel free to call that number. We have experienced operators there to answer your calls and to help you with your concerns. Thank you. We will send out a uh, release here in a few minutes to let you know when the next press conference is going to be. It will be sometime in the next couple hours. We need a little bit of time to get that initial report back, and when we come back to you, we will have information, be able to answer some of your questions about uh, areas that have been affected the worst. Okay? We'll be back in a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.